This is Daniel. Um, he's going to try to run the buffer. I think this might be the first time, second time of him running it. Um, so here we go. He's going to try to put his weight on this machine right here and keep it steady as it goes. And then he's going to use his hips the way I turn it, tell him to turn. He's just going to use his eyes. It'll all naturally move his hips. There's no need to muscle anything, try to do anything when you're first learning the buffer. Once you learn how to use it, you can manipulate it a lot of different ways. But for right now, just use your hips. All right, so Daniel's going to run it right now. All right. So, oh, there you go. See? He's using no pressure on his hands. Right here is pretty soft. We're good. So now I'm going to tell Daniel to turn left. Daniel, turn left. See, it's following there. It's not going too crazy. Now turn right that way. See, now it follows him. Turn, go this way again. Now, we'll stop right there. You see that the machine, he had it, so he was trying to go this way, but he was using his hip. He didn't have it on his belt buckle. So he didn't have enough pressure on the machine to actually turn it. He was kind of going like this, thinking he was turning it, but he didn't have his pressure in the center of the stick. So if you put your pressure on the center of the stick and then try to move, you're basically moving the buffer just a little bit to go this way. So let's try that again. So. Now turn left. Perfect. See how much more control he has? Now turn right. Perfect. Now turn left. So you see how much more control he has by putting his pressure on this right here and then turning the six? If he doesn't do that, it's going to get away from him. When it gets away from you, you can't stop. So see he's stuck right there. If you just turn your hips, keep turning this way, he's good to go. Now let's walk forward. Just want to keep your pressure right here, not try to move your arms at all or anything, just move forward. Just walk your feet. Just walk your feet. See how easy it is to control if you have it positioned in the middle of your body and using your body to twist the machine. And that's just how you use the buffer. 